Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little unique. I don't have a script. This isn't thought out, but I just got off of TikTok Live and I was asking people to come up with video topics, YouTube topics, and there was a reoccurring one that I heard people were commenting and somebody from the community, Aaron, he asked a question. He said, do you have any general tips for beginners? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> and that's what this video is going to be all about. So let's just jump right into it. Before I do, hit that like button. Just scroll down. There's a little thumbs up. I want you to click it so it changes colors. Just click it. See what happens. It makes me feel good about myself. It tells YouTube that this is a valuable video, that I should show this video to other beginners who are trying to get into the stock market. And maybe if you like that video, if you just hit that like button, this video will get shown to somebody and change their life. So just do it. Now, now that you've done that, I also want to make sure you're subscribed. Okay. Now I know every YouTuber asks this and they say, hey, smash that subscribe button. I don't really care, but just do it anyways, because that way you won't miss a thing. All right. Now that you've done that, I have one more request. Okay. This one is a little unique, but it's very important. I want you to make a fist with your hand. Okay. And I want you to raise your thumb up at the screen, at the monitor, at your phone, wherever you're watching this video. I want you to give me a nice big physical thumbs up. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I felt that one right here. Now, tips for beginners. Okay. Make an account. <laughs> there are a lot of places where you can open up a brokerage, where you can open up a stock portfolio, where you can make an account. And sometimes it can get really confusing on where you should start, where you, where's the best place to put your money. Okay. Before we start talking about what stocks to buy, before we start talking about how much money you should put in, you need a place to put that money. Now think of this like a bank account, okay? If we are talking about a long-term portfolio, which in this case I am, you need to invest every single month consistently, safely, and small, all right? So make your account. I use TD Ameritrade for my long-term, for options trading, for swing trading. I also use Public. Now, Public is an app that I really love. Check this out. I'm going to open up my Public right now. This is Public, okay? The user interface is super friendly. It's super nice, super simple, super easy to get started, okay? Public. If you click the link in my bio, if you scroll down in the description, Click the link, whether it's the stand for me link, or if it's the link that says join public. If you click that link, you can get up to $50 worth of free shares. Now I know this sounds super salesy and affiliate marketing, but it's not, it, it's value. If you use that link, you can get up to $50 worth of free shares or slices, they call it fractional shares of a company. You can get up to $50 in whatever stock that they provide. They they will give you an option to pick from like Tesla, Amazon, Facebook, Apple, stocks like that. So anyways, you get money, I get money for referring you. It's just a win-win if you're just getting started. So go ahead, scroll down, go to the description. You can make your account on public or anything else. It doesn't matter. Now, once you have your account set up, congratulations. You are now ahead of so many other people who don't know how to get started. You have a brokerage, you have an account. Now what do you do from there? All right. Make money. <laughs> That's what you need to do now. You need to find a way to make money. Whether it's a job, whether it's a side hustle, whether it's mowing a lawn, an allowance, whatever you can to make money. Why? 
Because once you start making money, you can then consistently invest that money into companies that you know, love, use, see used around you, companies that you understand. Just take a look around you and invest in those companies, right? But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We need to focus on making money. When you have a job, you get paid every two weeks, whether you're hourly or salary, whatever it is, money comes into your bank account, a direct deposit. You get a check, you cash that check. Now you have money. What do you do with that money? Most people put it in their savings or checkings. Most people deposit that money into a under their mattress. Like whatever you do with your money, I want you to change your, your concept of money here. Now, listen to this. You need to pay yourself first. Okay? What does that mean? That means when you get a paycheck, what happens? Let's, let's, let's use easy numbers here. You get $1,000, all right? Now, if you live at home with your parents, great. You don't have to pay a mortgage. You don't have to pay a rent, right? Most people have to pay those things. So you're paying the bank back or you're paying the company that you are leasing your apartment or condo or house rent, the landlord. You're paying that person first. Then you get hungry. Okay. Then you get Uber Eats, food gets delivered to you. You get Chipotle or McDonald's or something. That means you paid them second. You paid your house or apartment. Then you, you bought food. Then your friend texts you and says, hey, you want to go to the movies? Okay. Then you go to the movies. You go to AMC. And you watch a movie and you paid $20 for that movie ticket. So you just paid the movie theater a third. Then you get hungry, you, you buy some more food, you need dinner, right? You just paid, that, that's fourth. All this money is just going out and it's going out. And now I'm not saying don't go to the movies or don't eat food or don't pay your rent. Obviously, you have to pay those things, right? You might have credit card bills to pay. You might think you're saving money as well. You're putting money in your savings account. <laughs> But you always end up using it, don't you? You need to pay yourself first. Now that's where investing comes in. That's where the stock market comes in. Every time I get a direct deposit from my job, every two weeks, every time I get a check from any affiliate marketing that I do, or any partnerships that I have, or any paid ads, or my marketing consulting company, I'm on retainer with some customers, so they pay every month. Anytime money comes into my account, I pay myself first. I take out 10%, 20%, 30% of that and put it into my stock portfolio. Now, now, when I put money into my stock market portfolio, what happens then? Well, I look around, I see that I'm using an Apple iPhone. I have my Microsoft PC right here. My Microsoft PC has an Nvidia graphics card. I use an AMD processor. After I get all of my computer stuff set up, I get hungry, I order Uber Eats, I'll get Chipotle. While I'm waiting for the food, I'll listen to a podcast on Spotify. I look around, where, where is my money being put? I put my money where my money gets put. And that's how I pick stocks for my long-term portfolio. I buy shares. I buy fractional shares. I buy whatever I can with that money that's coming in into companies that I know, love, use, see used around me, and companies that I just understand. Companies that I think will continue to do what they're doing now, but better and more profitable in 10, 20, 30 years from now. So now that we are getting money, now that we are paying ourselves first, 
now that we are putting that money into companies that we know, what's a good strategy? How do you make money? Now, what I want you to do as another tip for a beginner getting started, watch as many YouTube videos, TikTok videos, wherever you consume content, watch educational content on these topics. Why? Because I want you to take little golden nuggets from all of these different content creators. Different content creators on YouTube will have their own strategies. They'll do their own thing. They preach their own methods. But it's important to understand what other people are doing because you can always take bits and pieces of other people's strategies and adapt it to be your own. That is probably one of the best ways to learn how to get started with investing. I could say go out there and read a book on how to invest, but sometimes they get really theoretical. Sometimes they get really complicated. Those books are long. They're hard to read. You sometimes have to read a page three, four times to really understand what they were saying. But some people learn that way. So you can check out some books. You can check out some audio books. But what I want you to do is just scroll through YouTube and watch some solid content creators, even the bad ones. Just watch everything and consume content, consume content, consume educational content and then adapt it to who you are, your current financial situation, how much money you have, how much time you want to spend on allocating to different resources, what strategies you want to adopt, how you want to tweak those strategies to fit for your schedule, to fit for your bandwidth, to fit for your ability to get started in stocks. Now that leads to my next point. Now that you are making money, you know where to put your money, and you're consuming content. You need to invest every single month. Again, you're getting money, your money's coming in, money's coming in, put it to work consistently. Consistency is the key to success in the stock market. So every single month, money's coming in, you're putting it into these companies, your dollar cost averaging. That is one of the most important tips for beginners, dollar cost averaging. What does that mean? That means if you buy a stock for $100 one month, then the next month, that stock is worth $90, buy it again. When you bought it again, your average is 95. You bought one at 100 and you bought one at 90, your average is 95. Now, when the stock either goes back up to 100, you're not break even anymore. You're up $5. Now, imagine that on a bigger scale. Now, imagine that over 10 years from now. It adds up and it grows exponentially. So now that we know what to buy, now that we know our timeline, now that we know where to consume content and how to tweak it to our strategy and you're staying consistent, you are now ahead of most people in the world. Isn't that crazy? It's just a couple of steps that you had to take and now you're ahead of so many other people. It is that simple. You'll see content, though, of people day trading, looking at stock charts, analyzing data, reading this, reading that, trying to figure out where this stock's going to go next, blah, 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 blah. Listen, if you use Uber and you see yourself using Uber five years from now, why would you not invest in Uber now? Most people look back and say, oh, if I put $1,000 into Apple, I would have had $400,000 now. What is the Apple of now? What are you going to look back on 10 years from now and say, I wish I put $100 a month. I wish I put $50 a month into Uber, Rocket Mortgage, um, 
what else? Apple, um, Microsoft. I mean, hold on. Let me open up my account. <sighs> Snapchat, Airbnb. When's the last time you went to a hotel? Man, you guys really need to look into what's around you and invest in that. Now that leads to one of my last points. Again, this is unscripted and I don't even know I don't I don't even know how to end this video, but one of the points are there are growth stocks, there are dividend stocks, there are speculation stocks. There are a lot of different ways, a lot of different things that you can put your money into, all right? A dividend stock will pay you every single quarter for owning those shares. They'll pay you anywhere from 1% to 10% or more for owning shares. They'll just pay you that much just for owning it. That's an income source for some. What's important is turning on drip or dividend reinvestment. When you have dividend reinvestment turned on, every single quarter that you get dividends, it buys back shares. So you'll have one share and that one share will become 1.001 shares. And then that 1.001 share gets the same percentage back and then it becomes 1.003 shares. And then that 1.003 shares becomes 1.005 shares. And that 1.005 shares turns into 1.1 shares. And then that 1.1 turns into two. And then the two turns into four. And then the four turns into eight. And it just grows and grows and grows depending on the yield percentage that they provide. That might sound like a, a mouthful, but it is one of the most important and strongest ways to grow an account. You have to find a balance between growth stocks, stocks that are like Airbnb. Uh, you would invest in Airbnb if you see that company growing in the future. They currently do not pay a dividend. So they're not a dividend paying stock, but instead all the money that they make, they invest back into the company and the company continues to grow. But companies like AT&T, companies like Iron Mountain or Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is not a growth company. They're huge. They've already grown. So all of the money that they get, they invest it back into their investors. I mean, sure, they have R&D budget, they have marketing budget, but they also have their dividends that they've just been increasing and increasing every single year. So you buy Coca-Cola and you collect that dividend every three months and that's just growing for you. You're not expecting the share price to go up, but your asset value keeps going up because dividends keep pouring in. Now, when you invest in something like Airbnb or Uber, what you're expecting is for the stock price to go up. For them to make more money, to work more efficiently, to grow growth stock. Balance the two. The younger you are, the more risk you can take because the more time that you have to be right or wrong. <clears throat> I have about 70% growth, 30% dividend, and I balance between the two. Sometimes it becomes 50-50. Sometimes it becomes 90-10. So you really just got to balance it every single month as you deposit. And it'll grow over time. Again, it's really easy. I don't want you to look at any... I don't, I don't want you to look at charts, honestly. I see way too many people get discouraged from investing in the stock market because they're scared they're going to lose money because they think that they're going to lose their money. Well, I mean, you only lose money if you sell your stocks, but we're talking about long-term investing and tips for beginners, how to get started. Just get started. Just get started. Open up an account, make money, deposit money, buy stocks that you know, love, use, see, use around you and understand. Consume, consume, consume. Adapt it to your current financial situation. Buy, buy, buy. Make money. And 
do it all over again. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you enjoyed this no script, free flowing content, unedited, just me and you talking. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you have any other questions? This one was for Aaron. So thank you guys for your questions and I'll see you guys on the next video.